So for people that ju just joined now uh, to the video, we did two other videos where we talked about like this, how you guys at 14 Islands uh, prepare the strategy for your projects. And then also we talked about how you choose your frameworks and Gatsby and Netlify, all of that. Uh, basically, we do these videos uh, so that we deliver the, the best practices and things that you guys do uh, to our users that use our product so that they have, uh, you know, they can deliver b better quality because we think that it's important. Uh, and I'm repeating myself here, but it's important that, mm. uh, you know, to know that good quality comes with decisions and with the practices and a lot of things. It's a lot of little things that make you deliver good quality. And now we were down to uh, the topic of animation. And as you know, uh, I guess you know, there's a lot of debate about, you know, should mm. people use animations, transitions? Is it too much? Um, so what do you guys think about it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we can easily go overboard with animations because we really love to work on them. Uh, but I think they are, they have a, a purpose, you know, they, they serve a purpose, an important purpose. Uh, and I think there are like three types of animations that I can think of. I think one is basically just like calling attention to things. So, I mean, so it's all about like telling a story, like you want to tell a story like when you're on a website or something or, or a product. And uh, like one thing that animations can be useful for is to call uh, attention to things like you're scrolling and there might be some fact or some number that you want to point out there might be some product image or something that you want to you know kind of push forward and and that's kind of one purpose i would say just to, to call attention to, to emphasize it. something yeah exactly. call attention okay exactly. excellent um another another purpose i would say is to basically to, to have like a smooth transitions between different stages in an experience, you know, mm -hmm. so it's not like a hard cut between stages. Mm -hmm. So it provides, you know, this more like natural feeling of using a, a product or a, or, or a website. And so yeah, the, the, the experience isn't like suddenly like whoop, something. No, happens. exactly. It's, it's like, like unnatural. Smaller, like yeah. if something just like shows up, you know, mm -hmm. or um, yeah, or go somewhere and you don't know what happens. So it can give you this kind of feeling more natural feeling of things you know in nature things don't like just <laughs> appear and disappear so so yeah it's, exactly it's, uh, yeah that would yeah. be scary right <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> what happened like? if i would <laughs> just be gone um but uh and then i think the third types of animations and probably the most interesting one is to use animations to also kind of enhance the story you know to do animations that show something like how a product works as an example or, I mean, if you're doing a video game, it's all about storytelling, you know, right. using animations to, to tell the, st enhance the story. Oh, yeah, um, right. Yeah, and uh, those kind of animations are maybe the most fun to work on, on some sometimes. And know? that's maybe the problem. <laughs> <That's> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's yeah. why we abuse them, because it's mm. fun to work on them, right? It is really fun to work on it. But I would say, though, so as a, maybe a word of warning, maybe, is that... I don't think like you should be just looking at award sites and picking cool animations that you just want to try out. Like if you're building something, you know, real, you know, then there should be a purpose behind. It's there all sh about should be a purpose behind yeah. it. Uh, it can be uh, like connected to the brand. Maybe the brand kind of m moves in a certain way and behaves in a certain way, or it can just be simply like functional, like to yeah how you get from one place to another, you know? That yeah, I, I like how you, you put it, like, don't just look around and say, oh, I like this animation, I will put it. Think, think about the purpose. Yeah. Why are you using, what is the purpose? What are you trying to solve or to emphasize or to smooth out? Because what I was doing, like, there's some websites where each section, when it, it appears, it appears with an, uh, a transition mm -hmm. and it feels heavy because, you know, it's moving all around and you can't focus on any of the sections because mm -hmm. everything is moving all the time. That's very hard. Exactly. Whereas I saw uh, recently on another website where when actually when you're scrolling, there is a section uh, that is, uh, you know, the call to actions, basically. Mm. There is uh, some content, you, draw, you read about the thing and the company, and then there are some kind of call to actions. It's, it's, a, it's a section that is supposed to be important or mm. they emphasize some, some, some things. So only that sections, section will, like, will appear by, by being on top of the other. Instead of like just scrolling normally, it will appear like, 
like as you put it on the other and that was just to emphasize as you say like mm-hmm. that the reason there was like let's emphasize that section smoothly but in a you know yet we need to to kind of catch the attention that there's something new because when you scroll a lot at mm-hmm. some point you're bored of 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 scoring or scrolling a lot of content mm-hmm. so that serves that purpose mm-hmm. and a lot of examples as you say so you said either emphasize mm-hmm. or make some experience smooth right yep. smoother or uh, sometimes the animation is simply telling the story mm-hmm. as in in video games right yeah, yeah. i i can give you one example maybe, maybe to, go ahead, yeah, to, of to give some real example is for we were working on this site uh, antler.com yeah it's a startup generator they, i really like the, this website yeah okay uh thanks <laughs> uh and i mean what they do is they people can apply for the program and it's usually people that are interested to become like entrepreneurs mm. so um, they and they will what they do is they pick out p- people that fit really well together to work together to start a company to get, like together mm-hmm. and they will get some seed money and they will kind of help them through a process um, and we were kind of we had this discussion about like how can we tell this story and what kind of became the solution was that uh, we had this like images of those like the people that are in the program mm-hmm. or those founders as they are and when you scroll on on the page they actually it's very um, kind of uh, it's not that prominent but they will like they are like on a different lines and then when you scroll they all kind of align into place so to, so they kind of form the team Wow, okay, so on okay. the pitch so the whole thing is like okay like you're yeah. you're aligning people to, to form a team basically exactly so that's telling the story in the animation yeah uh, that's a good example yeah it's that animation is like on the front page and i i don't think maybe a lot of people don't notice notice it even but still you know the, i think people feel when they're, yeah, yeah exactly especially when you read maybe yeah. if you look at it without the reading maybe you'll not notice it mm. but when you read that that animation will um you know be like s- serve the same purpose as the content that you're reading so they you know it's I, exactly it's like it fits with the content like it fits I'm, with the story you know more or less like in the, the background music when you're watching a movie you don't exactly mm. notice it like but it gives you that feeling that things are coherent together yeah mm. and also just to expand it a bit further is it's usually like it's a discussion between designers and developers like for uh, for us i mean in some cases uh, like if it's small animations we can just create them in after effects and export them but I- when it's more complex animations it's usually uh, like it has to be like a close co- collaboration between mm. the designers and developers and like the designers might come up with an idea and then the developer will try it and, t- and then we'll feel it and and then we'll improve it until it feels and that's, you know that's very important because mm. i noticed that sometimes you have an idea of an animation mm. you do it but when you start interacting uh, with it it feels completely different and it doesn't work or like yeah. for instance uh, when you implement it because you know either performance issues or like you know different elements interacting together doesn't feel as as it it should feel when you design it and that's why it's important that they kind of collaborate together yeah. on on making that work for okay. the purpose that you 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 know you chose to do it for yeah exactly it is actually hard to do it properly you know, to do it well I mean, so a lot of websites out there are just like hijacking your school and you know, like mm. you get mad yeah. using it so uh, it needs to be done in a in a right uh, way you know often like close right away like yeah. when the, the, because you know the whole thing you have an experience with the website mm-hmm. and you learned it you have habits and yeah. if the, you start scrolling and things like moving in like um, not as you expect them that might be too much for for you know a, a user you, you don't know how to function anyway with that website right how to interact with that website it's mm-hmm. you lo- you lose that experience so who pushes more for animations designers developers the client who who <laughs> buy, who who buys more into animation <laughs> Uh, I will. Uh, it's not a client. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> you have to convince them. <laughs> to be honest, we sometimes just do it mm-hmm. because. And then you show it after. If we, if we ask, they, you know, it's like sometimes we will just 
make it happen as part of the quality that we deliver. You know, I think mm. that's the right way to There's think about la- it. There's a little touch that yeah. you add on top. And I, we will even spend time on it that is like unpaid time just to make mm. it, you know, that's, it's like... Yeah, I like it. I, because it matters to us, you know. Like It's the touch of quality. Yeah, exactly. We, we want it to, to feel right. And, so, I, and sometimes you can even mm. ask the, the the client, and they they might not even notice it. They feel it. They experience it. But mm-hmm. they don't. They will not tell you. Oh, I like that animation. They tell you like, I like the overall work yeah. because they, it's the best when it's subtle. It's like yeah, and I mean we care about how the site is going to perform when it's out, and we you know it's yeah, it's important I think, but it, yeah, so but I I would say it's um. Like I, I would actually have to say developers, our developers. I it's, think it's a lot of fun. To it is that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually t- always try to kind of, you know, put that in, you know, somewhere. But yeah, we know you're enthusiastic about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit too en- enthusiastic. So, so we also need the art direction perspective right, of to to do it properly. So. I, mean, I am the developer. I can understand. Yeah, that. right. <laughs> so, do you That's enjoy doing animations? Yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone yeah. will enjoy. It. Yeah. I mean, every developer, at least. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. It is fun. Cool. Mm. Well, maybe like we move to the next video. Yep. Cool. Mm-hmm.